So in this part of the tutorial, this part three, we are going to understand the model view and update functions. This actually to explain line by line the um, component of, the M pro of an M program. So let's see. So this is exactly what we've written. And I've uh, written the line number so that I can help you understand it clearly. So the first one is line one, says module main exposing dot dot. So this module is a module declaration containing the name of the module and exposing in the case that all the function in this module can be used by other modules. So you can actually import this module, uh, this main module in a different file. Okay, so line two, this import statement imports modules that contain UI components. So UI components are available in browser module and also in the HTML module. So in this case, we are importing only div and test. So at some point, we may have to import everything. For instance, we have button, we have text box and other things. Now, if a comment in an M program begins with two uh, dash or uh, two minus signs. So dash dash uh, begins a comment. And so this is a comment. Now line five, this is a function. So you specify the function. One thing about M is most times you don't use a comma when you want to list out items. So why we have this function is the add function. It takes two parameters A and B and then equals specify what's going to be returned. So it's more or less like an arrow function if you have a knowledge of arrow function. But in this case, you are not using an arrow, but you are using an equal sign. Equal sign and either the other side, you want to specify what is going to happen. If there are other things that's going to happen in this function, you have to include it and close it and call it braces. Line six and seven, this is the init function. So it sets the initial value of the model. Now this initial value of the model, we have only one uh, item, but you can actually add a number of other variables that uh, has the initial values. For instance, name, score, age, date of birth. So all these, you can specify all these separated by comma uh, like this. So in this case, you can see here, you can just put one more thing. For instance, I can just say here, name is equal to Kainson. So you specify everything that you want to assign. Initial value have to be here in the init function. Line eight and nine, line eight and nine, which is actually this line here, it specifies the, the view function. So it takes a model as parameter and then have to display on the screen. Now on the web page, now in this case, this uh, view function actually displays a text as uh, just a text. But if you want to display the model, you simply say model dot and uh, display uh, model dot value right there. Line 10 and 11, this update function is going to specify what's going to happen when the model updates. Right, so when something changes, uh, the update function is going to return the new value. So that's why I say the update function also takes the model as its first parameter. It should return the updated value of the model. For this particular case, we just return the model as we are not changing anything. So we have the final function that is the main method. This main method is call, uh, it calls the browser the sandbox function. And this function takes a record having three parameters in need the view and update. So this is simply um, an existing function you simply will just use. Yeah, so this is the three things you need to know about how it works. So this, what we've said here is being explained here. So rendering the model, you have to render the mod initial value of the model on the screen. So that's what's gonna happen. What we did just now, is to render the initial body of the model is what happens when you do this. And when the model updates later, we are going to be talking about the click of a button and it's going to, uh, the update function is going to do an update and the model is going to render by updating the view. So um, we are, I'm going to be stopping here at this time and in the next part, we are going to uh, continue. So please remember to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment.